In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to track revenue and purchases in your Google Ad Analytics 4 account from Shopify. So if you have a Shopify store and you wanna see metrics inside of Google Analytics 4, this video is for you. You don't need any coding experience. In fact, we're not gonna be touching any code. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this. It's very easy, just a couple of clicks. And if you aren't sure why you would maybe want to do this, here's kind of what the end result ends up looking like as we go into a Shopify store here. You can see the reason why a lot of people like to do this is with this, you can see all of your different channels, so like direct, paid, social, there's an unsigned one here, cross network, organic, paid search, different things like that. And you can see the total purchases. So if you click right here on these key events, you can go to all purchases. You can see the purchases from each one of those channels. And then you can see the total revenue. And then you can do all sorts of different reports inside of Google Analytics. So if you are wanting to see revenue data or purchase data in your Google Analytics 4 account from Shopify, this is the video to watch for sure. Now, Shopify is always changing the way that this is done a little bit. That's why I came up with this updated video because there's a very easy way to do it. It's different from last year, a little spoiler alert. So I wanted to show that to you. So the first thing that you will want to do is come to your Shopify store. You want to make sure that you have admin access to both the Shopify store and to your Google Analytics store as well. So keep that in mind. And what we're going to be using is the actual app developed by Google, and that's the Google and YouTube sales channel app. Um, this is newer and they've come out with different versions of it and it's now a little bit different on how you connect it. So this is what you will see when you download it. Now, if you aren't sure how to download this, come up here and just type in like Shopify apps and then click on this that you can go to like the Shopify app store, click on that. It will take you to a view that looks like this. And then you want to type in Google and YouTube and then come here and then make sure you are in the right store. This is blurred out right now, but make sure you're in the right store that you want to download this for. We're going to grab this one and then we come back over here and then you can open it up or mine says open or you can install it depending on which one you are in. And then it will take you to a view that looks something like this. Now, what I like to do when I'm inside of here is I like, because this is one that you'll want to come into and visit to frequently, I like to pin it right here. So it's in my navigation. You can see when you unpin that, it goes away from that navigation there. But when you pin it, it gets put underneath your sales channels. Once you are inside of here. Now, all we need to do is click connect to Google ads account. Mine says reconnect because I've done this multiple times and I just disconnected it for the purpose of this video, but we're going to hit reconnect here. It's going to ask you to log into your, your Google account that has access to the, the Google Analytics 4 account. We're going to hit continue with the email there. And then from here, you can actually do a couple of different things. You can set up your Google ads conversion tracking. I have a video right here on how to set up the Google ads conversion tracking if you want to check that out, but it's very easy. All you do is click on this and get started. And it's basically the same steps. We're here for the specifically the Google Analytics 4 conversion tracking. So we're going to hit get started here. It's then going to take all of the accounts that your email has access to, and it's going to drop them down here. These are all blurred out. I have access to quite a bit of Google Analytics 4 accounts. So click whatever one is relevant to you. You may only have access to one here, but click which one you want. And then once that is in there, then you want to hit this little button that says connect. And then just like that, you can see, you'll get this little thing saying success. Your Google Analytics 4 is now connected. So what this not what this does is not only set up the conversion tracking for your Google Analytics account, but it will also install the tag as well onto your account as well. So if you are using any other way to deploy the Google Analytics 4 code on your Shopify store, you will want to pause that. So if you're using Google Tag Manager, or if you injected any code actually onto the site through theme.liquid, you will want to pause that. Now, Google is really good at detecting two snippets now. So chances are Google will detect that and automatically take the necessary actions, but it's just good hygiene to go through and pause those. Just wanted to give you a heads up on that. So in order to test or to make sure that it is working, you want to come over here to your Google Analytics 4 account. You want to click on this little button here that says admin. And then from here, you want to scroll down to debug view. Once you are inside of the debug view, chances are it won't show anything yet. And that's, let me pause, let's turn this off real quick. You can see it's not going to show you anything. You can see mine has some data here just because I tested this just before. So you can see as I scroll down, there's some previous data when I was running this. Now, in order to test this, what this is, this is a live view of your website. You want to open up your Shopify store and we're actually going to go back to the home here just so we can demonstrate this fully. So then once you're on your Shopify store, I want you to go to Google and type in Google Analytics debug bugger Chrome extension, add this to your Chrome extension, and it's going to add a little mail icon right here, just like this. You need that in order to activate the debugger on Google Analytics 4. So once we're on our website, you'll notice I'm on here, but it's not reading that any action is going on. Well, it is because I have this installed right now. I turned it on, but as soon as I turn this on, then it will read the interaction here. And then from this point, what we can do is we can go through the funnel and make sure it is working. So there's my, my page view right now. And then once I come in here and let's say that I wanted to look at one of these products, once I click inside of there, that should fire an event, one of the page view events. So if we come back over here or the page view event, I sorry, the view item event should fire here. There is typically a little bit of delay in the system. So keep that in mind when you are going through this. So we'll give this just a second. If not, you could come over here as well. It just fired. So there's the user engagement, then the view item. You can see there's a little bit of a delay here, but then once I come down here and I add this to cart, same thing, you will notice that it is now inside of the cart. And then I have two from my test before. But when I come back over here and we wait just a second, we should have another event fire through. We'll just speed through until it hits the add to cart. And you can see there's another page view event fire and the add to cart 
cart inside of here exactly where we're at and then we can continue to check out and then it will take note of that event as well. And then also you could go through all the way to purchase and make sure that the purchase is firing. I'm not gonna go through and do a test purchase for this video because you kind of get the idea. And then once those events are inside of there, what you can do is you can come over here to the events in this left-hand column. You can see there's the begin checkout. You can come over to these events and you want to turn on the ones that you want. You want to be key, what's called key events or track for your conversions, turn them on as a key event. So chances are once you see the purchase conversion come through in here, usually it takes about 24 hours. You want to come over and let's pretend that this is the purchase one. You want to mark that as a key event. I think Google Analytics 4 actually automatically marks the purchase as event. Yeah, you can see there's the purchase right there. So this is just a demo store. So it doesn't have any data coming through, but then you have your purchases flowing. Your Google Analytics 4 is all connected to your Shopify store and all the revenue data and conversion data is being shared through those. So you can make all sorts of different reports. So hopefully that's helpful. If you want to learn more about Google ads and especially Google ads shopping, be sure to subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next one.